Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here with, I believe, part five of our little vintage journal, our little vintage book that we've made into a journal. So let's say hi and hugs, and we're going to get started. I think we might finish this up today. So let's see, hi and hugs to Alana, Rowena, Kelly, and Grandma Gay. Thanks so much for watching and for your nice comments. Okay, we are actually to the point of filling pockets and such. So I did a couple of things ahead, just inking and that sort of stuff. I kind of picked out, um, I picked out these cards. Uh, these are, let's see, these are Tracy Fox Love Junk Journals. They are her, um, wallpaper I think the wallpaper tags distressed wallpaper or something like that and I am just going to slip those in doesn't that look fun and um into these and that way it's just nice and flat and it goes in and it's a whole extra bit of journaling space and I loved, I loved how these tags looked popped down there. Isn't that fun? Yay. Okay, the other thing I did is I backed these pictures that came out of the original book um, with coffee dyed paper. This is an old book page, I think. Um, and to make journaling cards out of them. And I thought these would go nicely in our little um, Rita Donnelly flips. Let's see if I can find one. Okay, I know it's in there. I just am not finding it. Um, oh, right here at the beginning. Okay, so I don't know which one would go best in what, but but those fit really nicely in those. But I'm also thinking, I think we put one on a small page, and I don't know how that's going to work. So, like this. So, I'm not sure that, yep, that's not going to work. So, that's going to have to go somewhere else. What about the third, the third um, signature? Did we, now I have, I have a, the belly bands. Maybe that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. Because I kind of want them all to be similar. Did I put a belly band in this one? Now that I say that. I guess they don't have to all be the same, do they? Oh, I also um, put some more um, napkins on. I think we stopped with this one. And so let me show you. I put a rose there. what else we did oh I did these here and what else oh you saw that probably when I put that tag in but I love I love that bird there and is that all nope and then I did this one up the side there so yeah did a little bit more of that but Okay, I'm going back to putting this one here. And then I feel like there was a um, belly band in here, no? Okay, well... I mean, there is that one. That's right. So I thought there was one in the first. I am. Um, maybe not, though. I thought I put up and down belly bands in the first and third signature and that sideways one in the middle. That's what I thought. But I'm not. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. So 
So will you go in there? Yes, you will. Perfect. Okay, and then the back one, we'll put the other one in. If I can find the back one. <laughs> there it is. There she is. Okay. All right. Wow, that was a little more difficult than it. Good thing I did them ahead of time, huh? Okay. Um, I love this little card. I want to stick that in there somewhere. I don't know if it will fit. It might, might not fit on the um, half music either, but maybe it will. Oh, it will. Oh, and I like how this looks with all this. Okay, so there's that little page. Let's um, let's put these in there too. They came in the original, um, the original journal kit. Okay, so that then leaves us to just kind of look and see what else. I'm gonna grab. Um, I have some Tsunami Rose here in various, I seriously, as I told you, I have so much Tsunami Rose printed out. It's like crazy. So um, I would like to use that to fill the rest of the journal in terms of what we've got. I feel like this could use, this could use something else. Um, these uh, Tsunami Rose calls them shipping tags. And one of those would be nice. So um, I am going to have to distress, but if I don't do it now, I it'll be hard to find it, you know. So we'll just do that and chat. Hope you're all having a good day. I am so far, so far, so good. I'm excited because it's one of those days where this late this afternoon we have Addie's basketball game. So, you know, that always makes me happy. <laughs> so we'll have that going. Okay. So there is that. I would like one more thing that's somewhat colorful. I have all these library cards from various kits. Of, I like that. Do I like that? I like the green picking up on that. Let's look through a little bit more. Yeah, when I was on Daisy's design team, I printed everything because, and Daisy's kits are huge, is the other thing. Ooh, look at that. It ripped. Oh boy, we've got a repair to do. Look at that. That old music page just couldn't do it. Okay, well, let's roll up our sleeves here and get that fixed. Um, I'm going to grab some washi tape. Excuse me for just a minute. If I can get this off of here. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I wanted a thick washi tape so that it'll go down the side. Wow, oh, I'm so glad it did that to me and not to the person who bought the journal. <laughs> oh, it's one thing with the old papers is they can be a little fragile. Oh, come on. I haven't used this in a while, obviously. And I know you guys told me the 10 second in the microwave. 10 second, not 10 minutes in the microwave trick. But my microwave's upstairs and I'm downstairs and I'm filming. So that doesn't do me a whole lot of good. 
Okay. Um, gosh, I think I'll go the full length because now I think also what I'm going to do is go with some art glitter glue down the sides of this. Oh, geez. I just ripped through it with the art glitter glue. That is fragile paper. Why I didn't do this from the get-go is beyond me. It's probably too busy yakking. Okay. Now let's get this laid down, if we can, into the into the uh, crease there. Well, I may be making this worse. I don't know. Nope. We're going to get it. We are going to get it. Okay, and then it's going to be tricky down here. But not a bad thing to see that you can Truly, you can fix most everything. Really can. But it's scary when it does that, when you've done, gone to all the work of making the book. <laughs> like, oh no! Okay, so that's good, but I do want some more glue on the edge here. I think if I can... Pull that up a little bit. Oh, Super fragile. Better to put the glue on the washi. Okay, here we go on that side, but we're gonna do we're gonna do the other side too. Um, okay, I'm going to do just the length of the scorecard. crazy. Well, this didn't figure into my time of finishing this journal, <laughs> but important, important thing to do. Okay, I think that's going to keep it pretty well, but we are going to go over on the other side of the signature as well to see what we got going over here. Yep, look at that. Came right out. Okay, so this one I'm thinking could I just lay it down on another page? That one's in there good. I'm feeling good about that one. Okay, we need it on the other side. But we need to find a page that's big enough to handle it. Which I think what I'm going to do is cut it down and then we're just going to glue it on here. We have plenty of journaling in here, so I'm not worried about that. Just cut it and glue it down, and it'll be nice and sturdy. Okay, well, a couple different ways to fix your book. <laughs> if you have a page that goes rogue on you. <laughs> wow. 
It was so fun today. As you know, you know, time's all goofy because of me filming ahead and everything. But the video that loaded today was the one on the frozen charlottes. And I have to tell you guys, it just tickled me because I feel like those little frozen charlottes just got your creative juices a flow and so many ideas and so many, you know, things. It was, it's really fun to look at the, um, at all of the, yes, at all of the comments. Super fun. So thank you for that. Okay. Okay, I think we've got the crisis averted. <laughs> wow. Okay. I well, hope that doesn't happen on any of the other pages. Oh my goodness, get in there. Okay. Okay. So I should have done what I did with the uh, the book pages from the book, how I washi tape the spine. Should have done that on that um, music too, but didn't. But we're okay. There's that one. And then this one over here, wherever it is, is just all washied in on both edges. So, so there we go. Okay, so let's put these back in. And we were deciding on a card, and I think I'm going to go with this one. I like how the green picks up the green in the pocket. Goodness sakes. Yeah, so um, I've only, it's just morning, so I've only read a few of the comments on the video today, but... Uh, just super fun like everybody's like you could do this and you could do that and what if you did this and that and I didn't know about these and it, it just you know sometimes sometimes the comments are way more fun than others <laughs> you know but you guys are always amazing with your comments you're always so kind and I so appreciate that okay so we'll put that in there and then there's three places to write I kind of like to that a little too so it's not so stark okay there's that Whew. okay yeah it seems it seems good okay and that in there is good we could we could put something in here to indicate that's a double belly band this is real pretty like what if we Went sideways with that. I think I'll do that. So it's warming up some here. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how long our snow stays around. The weatherman said last night, the local weatherman, he said, yep, it's going to get sloppy out there. <laughs> it's going to start to melt. But that's okay because it's almost March. It's almost spring. Now I'm I, I got my my fix of snow. Now I'm ready for it just to rain if it's gonna precipitate, which I hope it does, because as you know, I always worry about fires because we are right in the mountains. Okay. So let's see. Everything else filled. Yep, yep, and yep. Okay. First signature filled. Let's see what we have here. Okay, we have this, which one of these um, one of these Tracy Fox tags would be neat there too. I think because it just you know it fills the whole page looking to see color wise oh, this is a cool one yep doesn't that just bring that um, belly band to life love it love it I can hear Mike out um, getting the 
snow off our deck. I think he's always worried that it's going to melt and get into the basement or something, which would be a disaster for me because the deck's just right over there. <laughs> And it would it would get all of my pre-made ephemera. If if water ran down that wall, oh my gosh, can you imagine? I'd probably have three or four videos where I just cried through the whole thing. <laughs> well, I had the perfect thing, but it got all soggy. Oh, that would be awful. So we have had a flood down here before one time. Um the how was that Mike had put the um, hose in the window well of the um, of our storage room and somehow somehow it got turned on I don't know anyway it came in the window and flooded and it did come into my area a little bit but it wasn't my area yet so it was just the family room. Okay. What else do we have? Oh, we have this little thing. Let's see. What do we have? These are all... Those are all, like, pictures. I don't want that. Let's look in this bag. I don't need my scissors right now. Get out my way, stuff. Okay. I'm thinking this batch of stuff is kind of maybe the right size-ish. There might be something fun in here that's... Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah, let's do that one. More postcards. Oh, uh, seriously, I just have so much stuff. I just need to need to be using it. So this is awesome. I'm gonna do some use it up journals. I think that's really on my list. <laughs> I have so many things on my list. The um. I have more journal kits that I want to use, like this one. I'm feeling happy though. We did that. We've done this one. It's really great. So um, that feels like an accomplishment. But but I have more more to do. Okay. I better live till I'm like 340. <laughs> And be able to do journals that entire time. Okay, there's that. Now we could put a little tiny something in there. What about... Okay, I have stuff here that's tiny. I mean, I have these, but I'm also thinking about a ball jar. Oh, look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh, that is perfect. Did I already stamp kind somewhere in here? I think I did. So I was thinking I would like to stamp something right there. Maybe. Oh gosh. I just threw some on the floor. Maybe. Hang on. Let's see. Where am I? This one. Would Cherish fit there? I think it would. Let's see. Just for fun. That's another thing I need to do is use my stamps more. I used to use them a lot more in my journals than I have been. Oh, that's cute. Um, I don't know why. Just, just have been using them as much as I as I used to and I have a gazillion stamps I really need to use them 
Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, that's just cute. I'm going to leave that as is. And we'll move on to whatever's next. Oh, this one. Yes. Okay. We could use a smaller tag in that. I don't know. It's kind of purplish, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's a meh. Yeah, they're not really. This one is kind of purpley. Oh, I like that one. Okay. I think I might do that one and then one of these also. Some of these have My little book weight. So um, we have Addie's basketball today, and then on Saturday, we were supposed to be able to watch her sister Katie play volleyball on Saturday as well, and then. Addie was supposed to play volleyball on Sunday, but it got canceled. I'm not sure why. I have a good idea why. As you probably do too. But. It's amazing that they've got as many sports in as they have, truly. Kids are going back to school, I think, four days a week here, back in school. So, let's see how that goes. Okay, that over there, come back here. Let's see, I really like that side of that. So I went behind it. I mean, you could also go here. Oops. Here and, you know, see that. But I like what's behind it. So I'm just going to go like that. Okay. That's done. She's good, I think. Okay, we need something for in her. And look at this. That that looks really nice in there. That and maybe a card of some sort. Um, uh, nope, not those. Old vintage postcards. Ooh, I like that with the green. Okay. Well, I will say when I was on Tsunami Rose design team, I had plenty of choices <laughs> what, what to put in the journals I was making for her. Holy cow, I had a lot of choices. Let's do a little 
bit. Okay. I'm sure this video is completely enthralling with me doing all this inking, but you know, it's part of the process. So if we're doing a start to finish on camera, there's going to be inking involved. <laughs> oh, this has been a fun journal though. I have so many vintage books, you guys, that are like this one on its last legs falling apart. I need to, I need to do more of these types of journals. But then I've had a few requests to do a little golden book journal and I haven't done one of those in a long time. I would have to probably watch my videos to remember how to do it. <laughs> my older videos. Okay. We have that clipped in. We could clip something up in there if we wanted. Let's see. Okay, we need something there. That would only be like one more thing to just put in there. Um, and I have some, some bigger things here. Let's, let's see what we have here. Oh boy. So much, so much. Oh, this is a, I was looking at this, but it's too big. It's a, one of the folders. Those are too bright. These are all too big. Where is my one that is just paper, not cardstock? Where's that one? Here it is. I thought I had some larger things in it, too. Sorry for the bag crinkle here. But yeah, I have some just... just paper that might be fun like I don't know this one could be or what's this one oh, that's more farmy I think we'll put that in there I have these bags now out on my desk because I figure if I have them out on the desk I'm more apt to use them than then they were stored away because like I went once when they were stored away I don't know if I would have thought of them for this journal necessarily and then this is just extra journaling space on the back of this so that's good gosh I've had two nights where I haven't journaled in my journal my daily journal I don't know I just haven't felt like it I've because I I don't use my journal to complain in <laughs> I you know I try to keep it fairly positive because I figure someday if my kids read it but on the other hand None of them are interested, so I'm not sure that'll happen anyway, but okay. So now we have that kind of in there. That's good. Um, and, and I've just kind of been, I don't know. It's, it's the everything getting to me. I think all the stuff we've all been going through. So I just haven't felt like journaling. So I just haven't. Ooh, isn't that pretty? I'm wondering if that was out the side, right? Yeah, that's good. And then we need something bigger behind it. Taller. Bigger as in taller. Um, kind of looking. Oh, I have an idea. Let me get this done. Okay, I love that down the side here. That's great. Okay, so then I have these botanical things that 
there are some bigger ones that might Kind of fun it's it's um shiny yeah i like that okay we'll distress that up and then you know what i think we're done with this journal how crazy is that just caught her done oh that looks cool with the distress on it the shiny paper yeah, this was a shiny cardstock. Um, I feel like it might have been one um, when I was working. The marketing department got rid of a whole bunch of paper. You know, they had cleaned out their supply room and it was stuff they weren't using anymore. <laughs> I rolled a cart right up to the door and said, I'll take it. Yeah. No, the marketing director, she called me because she knew I made journals. Okay. Okay, okay. We did it. I like it. Okay. Oh, excuse me. I apologize. Okay. Um, I usually sign my journals, and I'm looking at... I try to do it in the back, but I might do it right there. So let's do that so I don't forget. Where's my pen? Where's my bunny pen? thousand twenty one if you don't sign your journals I would encourage you to sign your journals first of all like it helps me to remember who made the journals that I work with and then um, I, I I don't know I just really I like that you guys she turned out awesome Okay, so I had an idea on the um, charms. I was thinking, rather than having them hang down in the bottom of the journal, that we might put them out the top of the journal, just putting like, like so. Do you want to wait a second while I run and get some charms? And we'll try and get those put in. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Should have gotten those ahead of time too. Wasn't very organized this morning. I did a Etsy share this morning and um, that was all good. But, and then I thought I had myself organized for this, but not really. <laughs> Apparently not. Okay, I am just going to get this Tsunami Rose stuff stacked back up here on the other side of my table so that it's not in our road. Okay. Good deal. Okay. So the cool thing about kind of this idea of having them in the top is that if, it, if we don't like it, all we have to do is pull the strings down the bottom right? We're not committed to it forevermore. Okay, what do we want here? I've got, I just grabbed a bunch of, a bunch of stuff, random stuff. Don't want any of those. I was thinking about maybe one of these and maybe one of these, Dighty Bones. And for those of you who are new to my channel, that's my granddaughter when she was little what she called diamonds with dighty bones just looking we could do a made with love if I can get to it 
down at the bottom. Of course it's down at the bottom. Oh, there it went. <laughs> Made with love. Okay, good enough. Because we're going to need two, four, six. Um, butterfly's always good. Gosh. Oh my goodness. There we go. Got to get the threads just right. Okay, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a, butterfly um, somewhere I have hearts and that's kind of a Victorian looking heart okay so we just need one more we could do this little flower Keys and clocks, okay. Yeah, let's just do this little flower. Okay. These are always wonderful to get off. <laughs> it's always a struggle for me anyway. This one wasn't bad. And these are just charms from Hobby Lobby when they have their... Um, their jewelry stuff on sale. I try and grab something. Okay. There we go. Sorry, this isn't super exciting either. This might have been a totally dull video, but if you guys want to start to finish, you get start to finish. How's that? Okay, so I just thread them through and tie them. Nothing nothing too um, technical about this. Although this one's going to be hard. I need to use a longer one. Longer thread. Because I want it to stick out of the book. Either way we go, top or bottom. So we watched another good movie last night. You know, that's what we do every night. A little movie and then our series. That, um, so the movie we watched was called Eagle Eye. <clears throat> And it was good. It was, we had seen it actually. We, as we watched it, we were like, I think we watched this in the 90s <laughs> or whenever it was made. And, um, but it was good, kind of about technology taking over. Had, um, Shy, I don't know how you say his name, Shia LeBeau or something like that. And then um, Liv Tyler was in it. It was good. Very action-packed. Okay, so now we'll go to the middle. And <clears throat> how's about we put, we'll put the heart and the flower. Hearts and flowers for you and me. <laughs> So I will, in the coming days, list this little journal that we finished together on my Etsy cinnamon tea. I still have folks ask me, what's my Etsy shop name? Um, and all of my information like that is down below in the videos, in the description box. Um, <clears throat> as well, I have links to all of my social media stuff on my website. 
you know, because my web manager is cute guy junior, you know, my son. <laughs> he is a junior. He's Mike too. And he's such a good guy. He does so much for his mom. I miss those people. Those people that are my children and grandchildren. I miss people that are my friends. I kind of miss people in general. Although you you guys, my, my virtual pals, have kept me sane. That is for darn sure. Okay. Let's, let's get this little made with love on here. And we are set. Then we can decide if we like them hanging out the top. I don't know. I just thought that would be different. Yes, it would. It would be opposite of having them on the bottom. I do say some dumb stuff. I told my friend Jamie, you need to be sitting right beside me to keep me from saying dumb stuff. Nope, I don't like it. <laughs> it was an idea, but not one that I, I care for. So we're going down. We're going down as usual. Okay. Yep, that's better. Okay, she's done. How much time do we have? Oh, we have a bit. I'm just going to flip through it, and, and then this will be my official flip through, too. So we used Mrs. Cog's book plate. We used pages from the original book, 1911. We put lace on pages. We put pockets and flips. We have decorative washi tape tape on this page. <laughs> and our double belly band. Lots of journaling space. Tons of it. Midway, we have a flip. And a tag behind and little napkin on the pages just to jazz it up a bit but keeping it thin that was our that was our main thing on this one little window envelope pocket bingo card with a guest check behind journaling on the back of that this one I, I love that that turned out great. Those tags of Tracy's, I have a feeling I'll be re, um, reprinting those time after time. This little flippy up with some vintage things in there. Another flip down with the tag. This little tuck. Do we need something right there? I feel like we might. Um, this is cute, like a little, a little bingo card. Let's do that. Let's put that in there. I can't even tell you how many times when I flip through journals, I go, oh, that needs something. That needs something. Thought I was done. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite done. Okay, I think that'll be cute. That's just super plain right there. So we'll just tuck that in there and that will be less plain. Cute. Okay, moving along on the flipping. That little window envelope with a couple tags. Another belly band. Page from a flower book. Here's the flip in this one. The flip down and tag. 
And we have this little CD envelope tucked in there with little extra journaling spot. And there we have it. That, my friends, is the Vintage Book Journal. So thanks so much for helping me make it and for um, requesting it. I had several of you request that I make a vintage, uh, vintage book journal. So it was fun. So thank you so much. Have a grateful day and we will just see you in the next video. Bye everybody.